Hey guys, we are in the basement. Today we're gonna do a John's Arcade game play video. That's right guys, you know what? This is going to be the first part of a many part series of game play videos for my favorite game in the whole wide world, Donkey Kong. That's right guys, you know what? This was actually suggested by Vidiot on the John's Arcade forum. Yes, I have a forum. Go to johnsarcade.com slash forum, or just go to johnsarcade.com and click on forum. Anyway, Vidiot made a suggestion saying, John, I, I know you want to get to 300,000 points on Donkey Kong. Why don't you film a video a day of you playing the game and release it during this holiday break? And you know what? We're going to try to do that. And we're going to start with this video right here. And uh, this video is going to be kind of... Uh, well, to the point, I mean, we're just gonna play Donkey Kong, that's it, okay? We're gonna go over there, set up the tripod, and we're gonna play it. I'm gonna try to do this maybe every day. Now, this is not gonna be my my uh, my official Sunday video. This is another bonus video, and we might try to squeeze one of these in a day with another video. That's right, I'm talking about two videos a day. I don't know if I can pull this off. I actually like the idea a lot, and I, I actually like the idea of playing Donkey Kong every day until I get to 300,000 points. I, I know I can do it because my high score in Donkey Kong is about 274,000 points. 274, so I'm, I'm that, that close to getting to 300,000 points. And it is my favorite game, and, and my God, I know that if I applied myself at Donkey Kong, I could be good, I could be one of the guys. I don't know if I could be a, a million point guy, like Robbie Lakeman, my buddy Robbie, who actually has come down here. He kill screened my Donkey Kong, by the way. And that was actually awesome when he, he did that a few years ago, and now he's the king of Kong. But anyway, I don't know if I'm that good. I don't know if I can get that good, but I know I can. I could become a 600,000 point guy, I could be a 700,000 point guy I just need to apply myself and we're gonna start in this video so why don't we go get set up over there and let's play some Donkey Kong and and by the way again I want to keep this video on point and basically yes I have an original dedicated Donkey Kong um, I do have the high score save Brazington kit in there that also adds Donkey Kong 2. It doesn't change the gameplay at all. And we're going to try to get 300,000 points. We're, we're, we will probably not do it in this video, but I'm going to be practicing and I'm going to record every game I play and maybe you guys will like this. I don't know. We'll try it. And again, we're filming at 60 frames per second. This is kind of a new thing for me and maybe it'll make this video that much better. I don't know. So let me get the tripod set up and let's play as some Donkey Kong. All right, guys, we have the uh, the tripod set up here and I think this is gonna be an okay angle. I'm trying something a little different with the filming. I've got the camera actually over my shoulder and uh, I think that looks okay. So let's give it a shot here. And again, I've got it on free play, and uh, let's just start a game. I haven't played in, in weeks, and uh, so I'm definitely going to be a little rusty here. So let's let's warm up, and you know, it, it's funny though. It seems like uh, when I take a break and I come back is usually when I have a good game, but I don't want to jinx myself. All right, so you can see right now the high score on my game is 126 500. Uh, I think. I don't know if that's mine. I think it was in that one video we did. I don't know, that someone might have did that at my party. Now, again, my, my machine has been kill screened, but I, I've reset the scores because it, it actually makes me mad when I can't get on the leaderboard. And uh, so occasionally I'll just reset the scores. All right, so we're in the beginning here. I don't know if I should point press. I probably shouldn't. Um, and you know, we'll kind of talk about light strategy as we go along. I usually grab the hammer when I know I can get the blue barrel with it and looks like I'll be able to and also the fireball ideally and so I'll be able to get the blue barrel and that fireball so that was definitely a good hammer grab. Now it's gonna, the hammer's gonna disappear so I gotta be careful. Man, I love this game. I, I really have been neglecting it a little bit the last couple years. Um, really because I have too many games. It's just hard to focus on one game like I, I was able to in the beginning. Because when I first started collecting, I only had Donkey Kong. Oh, shit. And, uh, 
I play Donkey Kong like every day. And when I got to 100,000 points, uh, that was a massive milestone for me. And then when I got to 200, another milestone. But I've never been able to get to 300, and I know I can do it. I just need to practice. And that's what we hope to accomplish in these videos here. And, uh... And I thought it'd be fun here. It's it's Sunday morning, and I just was in the mood to play this. So, I don't know, that was kind of okay. We did some point pressing. Uh, left there with 7,000 points. Not really that great. Okay, so this is the, uh, the girder level. There is a definite pattern here. Um, you want to get this one, then come back. And you want to get the one with the hammer on the left last. And then if you're lucky, all the fireballs will kind of line up on the right for you, and you can get them with the hammer. And one thing to keep in mind with the fireballs is after you kill them with the hammer, they always spawn on the opposite side of the screen that you are. Of course, I'm not going to get any. What a... that sucked. <laughs> that was horrific. Come on, get out of here. Alright, I'm already kind of botching this. Which is bad. So, I guess we'll come over here and grab this. So I gotta get up there, and these guys are, of course, blocking it. Um, I can usually sneak up the, uh, up the center ladder there. We'll see how it goes. If this guy doesn't turn around, and he did. Alright, so we're not having a great game here, but you know what? I'm not gonna freak out about it. We're gonna keep playing. You know, we could have... We could play for the next half hour flawlessly, so... I'm not gonna freak out that I died. I know this game's been played to death and talked about to death, but you know what? It is my favorite game, and it has been since I've been a kid. I mean, this was the game for me. It, it's really my hands down, I mean, the best arcade game that I think it's ever been made. It's so playable. It's so good. It's deep. It, there's so much variety. It, the controls are tight. It's just... And it's got Mario. Come on. It's Mario's first game. Alright. That guy usually will go away and let me grab. Come on. Get out of here. Alright. So we gotta... That guy on the top there. Come on down. Come down. Uh, we're not doing too well here. So I'm going to point press jump. I'm jumping and pressing to the right. And every time you do, you grab some points. And let's just get out of here. Usually, when I used to play this all a lot before, the benchmark for this level was like 13,000 points. If I passed the second level with 13,000 points, I usually felt pretty good about myself. And we got 13,300. Not great. But not, it's adequate. But I did die. So in the beginning of this level, you want to jump once. I'm gonna blow off the hammer. Let's just let's get through this. I, I tend to have higher scoring games if I just kind of get through these levels fast and don't linger too much. Oh my god! All right, this this could be a warm up game. I don't know. <laughs> The barrel board is actually my favorite board, and uh, I think I'm the I'm, I'm good at it. I, I rarely die if I don't point press. I think point pressing on here is a little dangerous, and you can control the barrels. Uh, in the beginning, they're not as easy to control, but typically the barrels will go down the ladder that you're headed towards when you're running. But in the beginning here, this is level two. They don't they don't follow that as easily. They don't do that as often. They'll do it more consistently later in the game. So I'm just waiting for an opening here. Okay. Not too bad. Okay, jump. So as soon as that level starts, I just jump for the elevator. And I get the prize, don't die. And the first time around, I just run right for the ladder. Can't really do that later. Uh, but the first time, you could pass it just like that. I 
I'm wondering if I should stick to the idea that I only do one video. It, I, I, I record one video, good or bad, and we put it out. Because I think if I freak out and, and the video's got to be a certain point value, I, I think it's going to make it miserable for me to want to keep recording these videos. So you can see I killed them, that guy on the right, now he's going to spawn on the left. And the object here is to kind of get them all trapped on the right side. Alright, so now we got to get this hammer. Okay. So we want to get them all trapped on the left side, and if this guy comes up here, they will all be trapped on the left. Because when you kill them on the right, they spawn on the left, and we re removed all those left rivets, uh, so you can see they're all just trapped over there. And I'll just grab that. Alright, so let's point press. Um, you can usually get 200 points per second, which is faster than the bonus goes down. The bonus is 100 points per second. And I'm just jumping, pressing to the right, jumping, pressing to the right. And I'm just to the left of that little pillar there. And I've heard that if you get close enough to Donkey Kong, you don't need to press to the right. But I do anyway. I, I don't want to try that. I don't, I, two. So, I, so when I'm in mid-air, I'm pushing to the right. And I'm going to keep doing this till the timer goes to zero. And when it goes to zero, we could probably squeeze in a couple of extra jumps. And let's get out of here. All right, that's it. So we got 34,900. We're doing okay. I don't know, this is a warm-up game. If, if we can get to 100,000, I'll be pretty happy. All right, so jump. And then we're gonna jump again. And I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna linger here. I'm gonna get to the top as fast as I can. Cause I just wanna pass these barrel boards. Oh shit, all right. And again, the barrels typically will go down the ladder you're walking towards. Um, we're on level three now. It should start doing it a little more often. It should be a little more predictable. Alright. So 42,600, we got one life left. Alright, so this level jump until all the fireballs are on the left, and then we're gonna go up the right. Because in the beginning, they spawn on the side that Mario's on. And we just need to get to the top here. And that's it. So ah, so this level typically is is pretty passable and easy. Um, if the fireballs cooperate and they go and they stay on the left, then you go up on the right. And I usually do not point press at all on that level. Alright, elevators. Alright, so that guy came down, so I did not jump. I'm gonna come down though. Let's grab that prize. Oh shit. Alright, well he's chasing me. Let's just get out of here and blow that off. Alright, so now we gotta think a little harder about this. I'm gonna run to the yellow uh, part there. Right here. And now I'm gonna wait for a long spring. If you look where they're landing on the first bounce, I wanna run on one that goes far to the right. That one. Oh, screwed that up. That's too close. It's too close. There. So basically, the first bounce on the spring, I want to wait till it goes to as, as far right as possible compared to that little yellow thing on the left. All right. So we got 53,400. So again, I'm just doing my pattern on this board. 
I mean, yes, this board is, this level is a little pattern based, but the fireballs are not. The fireballs are unpredictable. Typically, if you do the pattern, they'll kind of go where you want them, but it's it's not guaranteed. That's why this game's so cool, is there's such a randomness to this game with how these guys behave. And uh, if I get lucky, I can get up here and grab this hammer. Come on, get out of there. Please don't come down. Damn it. Come down here. Shit. All right, I see a, a possible opening here. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? Can we just clear this? I'm in a real pickle here. Oh, God. Get out of here. I'm just going for it. Oh, look at that. Alright. Come on down here, you dicks. Come down. Come down. There we go. Awesome. Well, we got lucky there. So let's just point press for a little bit. Ah. Ah, let's get out of here. All right, so we're at 59,800. We're doing okay. <laughs> Is this fun? Do you guys like these? this video? <laughs> get used to it, because I'm going to do a few of these. So, doing the 60p uh, video thing, though, is completely changing how I do my videos, and I'm not quite ready to dive into this 100%, because it's forcing me to use Adobe Premiere, which is not a bad thing, because I've, I've got Adobe Premiere uh, CC 2014, and, because uh, I normally would do this stuff in iMovie, I would edit the videos in iMovie, but iMovie does not support 60 frames per second, it only does 30, and, uh, uh, so in order for me to do the videos at 60 frames per second, I need to edit them in Premiere and export them out of Premiere. And uh, I haven't used Premiere a whole lot, and so it's kind of forcing me to learn it. And uh, so the last video I did, I did that in Premiere, and uh, my edits weren't as smooth. Um, it, there wasn't a lot of edits, but uh, I think like with a big video where I do an on the road thing, doing them in Premiere right now might not be good for me. Um, and I think the on the road videos aren't really gonna benefit that much from 60 frames per second. Uh, I think that 60i is fine for the on the road videos. We'll see, We're, we'll play it by ear. I do think though the future is gonna be 60 frames per second though. I think that I need to keep up with this stuff and uh, and you know, we'll go to 4K when it makes sense. Uh, we'll do all that stuff because uh, I think it's important that I, I do that. Shit! Damn it! Uh, Alright, so we're at 77,400. This is my last life. Uh, I haven't played this game in months, though. So this is definitely a warm-up game. So maybe what I'll do is, um, we'll release this video as is. It's kind of the first video. And maybe I'll do a little practicing on my own time, and then the next video will come back and try to beat this score. And I guess the goal is to do better every video. Get this, to make my score go up a little bit every time. And if we can get to 300,000, I mean, shit, I haven't broken 200,000 in a long time. So I think getting to 200,000 points at this, at this stage is gonna be a little challenging. All right, so we're at 80,500 with the bonus. Um, so we're, we're doing okay. All right. So this is level four. This is gonna get a little more challenging. As long as I don't make a stupid mistake, we'll pass this no problem. This one, we gotta really wait for the long spring. There. Go. Okay. 
So we're at uh, 90-some, 90 90-something 90 thousand, 92,600. This is a kind of respectable game. Um, <clears throat> you know, this, this board, I like this board a lot, but it's such a wild card, man, with these fireballs. You just don't know what's going to happen. Like that. Like that just screwed up my whole plan. That guy just completely screwed up everything I wanted to do. <laughs> so, uh, now I gotta get up there somehow. Now I'm, I'm basically free-forming it, which I didn't want to do. Huh. I'm trying to get back to my pattern, or maybe just get to that hammer up there. Alright. Well, oh shit. Ah. Alright guys, you know what? This is going to be the first video. 94,700. That is not a bad game. It's not my best game. Ever. So... There you go. That is the first video here in our little Donkey Kong training series. What, what should we call this? Uh, should, do we have a name for this? Uh, John's Road to 300,000? <clears throat> so, all right, we'll, we'll put this video out, and, uh, and I think we're going to try to continue this every day here for the next week or so and see if I can improve. What do you think? Do you like it? <laughs> is it cool? So anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, this is not my Sunday video, by the way. <laughs> it's not. I mean, it's coming out on Sunday, but it's not the Sunday video. This is another little bonus video. And, and really, the next week or so here, it's going to be all bonus videos. There's no Sunday video. Uh, we're going to do the year-end review. We're going to do some road trips, and we're going to come back to Donkey Kong. So anyway, that's going to do it for this little video. Uh, check out the playlist. I'm going to make a playlist for this uh, uh, with all the Donkey Kong, we'll call that uh, John's Road to 300,000 or something. And uh, I'll make a playlist and I'll put all these Donkey Kong videos in there. And I'm going to try to play every day over the break. I think it could be fun. And uh, and then, of course, uh, during the holiday break here, I'm going to be releasing videos, uh, I think, every day. Maybe twice a day. <laughs> we'll see. We might do another video today, guys. Donkey Kong here in the morning and then maybe the year-end review later today. We'll see what happens. Uh... And uh, I'm not going to do viewer mail in this video. We'll just do the Donkey Kong video and get out of here. So uh, that's it, guys. If you've never subscribed, click subscribe. I release new videos on Sundays and sometimes in between. If you're watching this video in the future, uh, just know my schedule normally is on Sundays. I release a new video and sometimes in between. So go ahead, click subscribe. Tell your friends all that good stuff. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Later and bye.